How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Let's Play. They call me the Toaster and today we are going to be exploring the Nether a little bit better. So stick around and let's get right into it. So we just finished doing a little Nether run just to explore and it doesn't seem like this area is such a good place to start. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to build the portal a little bit further away. Um, but what I want to do is just put the nether stuff away that I got just to protect what I have. I'm going to take that dirt just because, and it's good to have blocks too as well, to be honest. I'll put these away. Get rid of this rotten flesh. And the nether quartz, very important. That's what we came here for. So when you're going to the nether, it's good to bring a couple of extra shields because they tend to go rather quick. So I'm just going to make one more here. At least this one will be nice and full. And the wood. And was there anything else I was missing? Oh yeah, you need you need a lot of blocks. So I'm going to bring... I uh, guess I'll bring the dirt. Because I'm actually low on cobblestone, which is something I never really thought was possible. I'll bring the dirt. I only have two pieces of food. And this food is really causing me a lot of problems. Let's just get a good night's sleep. And I need a better spot for all this garbage. Okay. Put the bones away. Okay. Yeah, I really can't do anything without any food. You know what, I think I'm just going to have to... Let's see, did I have a bit more wheat? I only had one. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get those... Those bones that I had. Make some bone meal. And try to expedite this farm a little bit. I'm uh, starting to have a decent amount of cows, to be honest. I'm almost there. Okay. So let's make bone meal. So 12. So I guess I'll do... Well, these... This one's almost ready. This one's ready. This one... I'll do all the ones that look like they're almost ready. So I get the most. Out of all this bone meal. I have four more. This one looks okay. This one, yeah, see, it didn't go all the way, but this one looks good. Okay, perfect. I'm going to take these ones. Okay, very good. And I'll plant these seeds again. Very good. And actually, I could use these seeds to get more bone meal. If I make a... Uh, what's it called? A composter. But with only 11 seeds, it's not going to make very much. So I'm going to hold off on that for now. 12 is a nice even number, which is what I'm looking for. Got to get up here a little bit. Just get a little bit higher. And I'll bring them over here so you're still interested. Okay. There we go. So if I gave 12 pieces of wheat, that should make 6 calves. And good, when they're all grown up, this is going to be a decent amount over here. Really good. Okay. So, if I remember correctly, I had a little... I had a little ocean over here that I should go and explore. Which I think that's what I'm going to do. So, I'm going to pack up my nether portal. I'm going to pack up a flint and steel. I'm going to make a boat. I already have a boat. Perfect. 
Yeah, and I'm just going to set it up somewhere else. I may need some wood in the nether. You never know. So in that case, I'm going to bring an axe just so I can chop down some trees really quickly. And is there anything else here that I might need? Mm, nope. I'll bring a little bit of wood, just in case. And let's be honest, this bow with seven arrows, it's, uh, I don't think it's going to save my life. Okay. So let's pack up this portal, and let's get out of here. Best part about exploring the nether is also getting to explore the overworld because what I like to do is travel really far away and then set up another portal there and that way it kind of brings me to a new area. If you love exploring the nether, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. Thank you. So let's just pack up all this obsidian. When I'm mining, I like to have my pickaxe pointed towards the next block already. That way, when it breaks, I'm already starting to mine the next one. This one's going to be a little tough, but if I just do it like that, yeah, it should be good. And then, okay, that one didn't really work, but that's okay. Man, you know, when you end up getting an efficiency 5 pick, you end up taking for granted just how long it literally took to mine these obsidian blocks. Like, I can't wait till I get my stuff enchanted. And you know what? Why shouldn't I enchant my stuff? Why shouldn't I enchant my pick? You know what? It's only going to make things better for me. So let's do that. I have the leather. I can make a book. I have two diamonds, but I need more obsidian. Okay, maybe we'll save that for another time. Let's just get going. So I wrote down the coordinates to my house. So that way I won't make any mistakes or forget any of that. Oh, I thought that was a skeleton horse for a second. So let's go. What'd I do? Bad. All right. So when I'm traveling across the ocean, I like to try to keep it as straight as possible. So in this case, that's not so bad because if you look at my, I'm assuming is the X coordinate. Yeah, the X coordinate, look, it's 1745 and it's staying like that for a really long time. That means I'm pretty much Going very straight. And now with this glitch over here, I'll be able to see under the water. I mean, I'm not cheating. It's just my computer's really laggy. So, I mean, sometimes it works out in your benefit. Oh, and I hit a wall. What's going on? Okay. What did I hit over here? I hit some land. There's still a bit more water, so I'm just going to... I can run. I can run more quickly along the water. Are those acacia woods? I love the look of the, of the acacia doors. I think they look really good. Oh, is that a village? Oh, nice, nice. Yes, let's go. Absolutely. These guys are gonna have a lot of good stuff, and I'm gonna take it all. Yeah, here's the acacia saplings. Perfect. Let's go. It looks like a pretty small village, but hopefully it's got what I'm... Hopefully it's got some good stuff for me. Ideally, what I want is hay bales. Brewing sand. Okay, I mean... Okay, they do have brewing sands there, but you need the blaze rods to make it work. Unless this one's already full. No, it has nothing, so... It doesn't even do me any good to take it, because, like... I still need the blaze rods. You need the blaze rods to make it, and you need the blaze rods to make it work. So it's like, why would I even take that? Cauldrons. 
Not right now. Oh no, this is bigger than I thought. Wandering trader. Does he have anything good? I don't have any emeralds. So he's just... just a, well, the puffer fish is good. For potions. The golem. Let's just leave him alone. He didn't bother nobody. And what are the what's the irony of that? I was talking about the acacia doors, and now this village is literally made of acacia doors. We got a saddle. That'll be, it's pretty uh yeah. I mean if I can keep it and I don't die in the nether, I'd definitely like to keep it. What was up here? Was there yeah, there's a bit more I think there's uh, oh, of course. Of course. Okay, yeah, there's some more houses up here. I just want to make sure I get everything. Oh, there's the hay bales. Perfect, and that'll give me a lot of bread. Another cauldron. These, do these go faster with swords? I can't remember. We'll just do it anyways. Okay, very good. There's some more houses up on the hill. Okay, no. At least there's some beds here. If it turns into nighttime, I could always just go to sleep. That's a lot of acacia saplings in one chest. Okay, and did I explore this one too? Oh, yeah, I think this was the first one. Yeah, yeah, this was the first one I went to. I went to that one, that one. Did I go to this one? Oh, yeah. How do I close the door then? Just, just force a habit, I guess. I mean, I might as well take all the food I can get. Like, <laughs> I'm literally poor when it comes to food. I'll even take the melon. Like, if I get gold in the nether, definitely gonna be... Was that? that just gives me seeds. Get out of here, I'm going to sleep. If anything, I'm doing you a favor so that the zombies don't uh, attack you in the night. Set seeds, some torches. I mean, not. This, um, this is just, no, this isn't good. Okay, and this one is just a brewing stand, right? This one's nice and full. Yeah, I'm going to take all this stuff. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Beats, they probably only, like, give you one hunger point, but whatever. I'll just eat all the food that I have now. Okay, what else we got? There's one chest in here. Oh, emeralds, nice. Maybe I actually can make that trade. Okay, and did I go in here? I don't think so. No, nope, I didn't go in there, but there's nothing anyways. This one, uh, yeah, I'll take a bit of wheat. Why not? Okay, and what else we got? This guy's sparkling. Why? What does he want? How many do I have? Four emeralds? That's usually not enough to trade with them. At least to get anything good. Okay, so I think I explored the whole village. I mean, it was a lot bigger than I thought it was. Parts were nice and hidden. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a crafting table. And I'm going to make lots and lots of bread. So, make that, make that, and we can do it one more time. Okay, not bad. And we ended up with one extra one. Let me dump the garbage. I don't need these seeds. Melon seeds? I mean, they're kind of rare. If I can keep them, I might as well. So I'll put all the stuff that I, like, I want to keep, but, you know, if worse comes to worse, I'll have to get rid of it. You know, beetroot seeds, I definitely don't need that. Beetroot is food. The food, I'm going to put it all right here. Melon seeds, <clears throat> it would be nice. 
but it's not a necessity. The saddle would be nice. Not a necessity. Melon, that's food. Definitely need that. Lead. Definitely not a necessity. Okay. Alright, not bad. Not a bad haul. We got a ton of food, so now we'll be able to go and explore the nether <clears throat> for a decent amount of time. So, let's get back on the boat and let's just keep going. A little bit further if we can or was that the end of the line yeah or no no it keeps going that looks like it kind of ends so i'm just going to take this long way around the further i go the just more beneficial it is this uh with the hitboxes i'm just going to assume that yeah okay keep going it's over here. Is this a desert? No. Oh my god, just dodging obstacles, I can't even see them. <laughs> this is good reflex uh reflex testing. It's a really turny river. I hope it doesn't just abruptly end. Okay, let's keep it going. Yeah, we're doing good. What's that in there? This just looks like a little generation underneath. Okay. Very good. Alright, let's try to keep this boat straight. Oh, this is... uh Oh, two turtles. Very, very nice turtles. It's actually a pretty big ocean one. Okay. Yeah, I think I definitely hit the ocean part because like look how look how low things are on the floor. That's typically a sign that you're in an ocean. straighten this out a little bit more. Okay. I wish I could see a little bit further, but what are you going to do? I'm just trying to keep looking on the floor just to see if there's anything that's like really useful. Kelp is good. It can be used for like um, fuel source. Like an infinitely regenerating fuel source if you have like an automatic like smelting machine or something. I don't think I'm interested in that right now. Like, it's not really like a priority project. Okay, here's an... This is a little island. Alright. Yeah, this is actually a pretty big ocean. Good, it's going to be good when we... Uh, we pop down the nether portal and explore it. Alright, well, I think this is a good place to end the video. I'm just going to keep going straight until I hit my like first piece of land, and hopefully it's not like 10,000 blocks out. If you liked the video, please hit that like button. Uh, please consider subscribing. I'd really appreciate it. And leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Alright, toaster out.